Well, good afternoon. You know, I, I had my computer stolen and now replaced, and I happened to back up the hard drive. I made the church's computer the exact same copy of, as my old laptop hard drive, and that's when they stole it when I was doing that. Luckily, it had finished, so now I need to copy that information back to my new laptop. And so I thought I'd go about showing you how to do that. So, first thing you're gonna need, firewire cable. Next, you gotta make sure that your, whichever your machine is that you're gonna be copying over to, replacing the disc with a new image, whichever, you have to make sure that it's plugged in, not just not just running off battery light. And I'm using a, the older power supply on the newer MacBook because I got this little adapter right here, which was only like, see this adapter right here? It was only like, I don't know, four bucks versus what, $90 for a new power supply or whatever? Works great. I'm not cheap, I'm just frugal. And there it goes, charging right away. Next, you wanna hook up your firewire cable to your host computer. And then hook it up to problem. All right, so you can't use FireWire on this one. <laughs> so this FireWire 800 is no good for me. What I'm gonna have to use is, what I need is Thunderbolt cable and I don't have it. It's over at the church. Got a package in the mail. Let's see what it is. It, hopefully, it's the adapters I need to be able to fix my laptop. And that's what it is. We got, we got a Thunderbolt Firewire cable and a Thunderbolt cable. So there's a couple different methods doing this. We're gonna try this method first. And basically on the machine, that you're gonna restore, you plug in your your Mac your backup that has the the image on it. Then you go to. I'm not gonna worry about that because we're getting rid of this software that's in here. Go to Disk Utility. Then you go ahead and. that you want to recover you whoa almost dropped the camera you plug in your the hard drive that has your recovery disk image on it then you press command R when it's rebooting and now here you can read now you can see it says re, re, reinstall Mac OS get in from but you want to go to disk recovery right here disk utility excuse me now you have disk utility you, now you can see the main operating disk is no longer this this main one that was up here so now we can go here if you were to go into if you were to try to get to it while you're in the operating system you wouldn't be able to do this it wouldn't wouldn't the restore function wouldn't be there it would not be it would be grayed out you wouldn't be able to use it now I can just go to restore, restore from image, and now we can go right to the image that we have on the disk. 
choose. Okay. What do you mean it doesn't have a volume? Okay, so first we need to go back here. We're going to put erase. Here's the problem, right? The problem is, is that this is Mojave. Right? And it says, look at this. When I go to delete it, I don't have this. And if I try to... If I try to uh, restore and I get the image from here, it's going to say, sorry, look, it can't load bundles. Then it says, no, I can't do it. I'm not going to be able to restore. It has to be APFS. All right, so what am I going to do? I've done a little research and I found out all you have to really do is you highlight the container and you go up here to edit right here I don't know if you can see what I'm doing oh it's up here go up to edit gosh it's not focusing very well right there edit and you click there and there it says see it says that delete APFS volume click are you sure you want to delete it yes get rid of it delete and now it's deleting done uh-oh oh there we go you see that now and now it's called disk container 2 right so now all we have to do is restore this so restore from where image This next image. Load. Yes. Restore. Boom. Now it's restoring. Now you just gotta wait. It's gonna take a long time. Uh oh. Here we are in the new vehicle. It's a new mount. So, uh, you know, I tried several different things at the house. Nothing would work because, uh, well, first I ran into a problem with the formatting with the new, with the new operating system on OS X. It goes to this APS, uh, I can't remember the, the letters, but some new formatting and it messed me up. I couldn't cross, cross back up uh, with, with uh, the OS X journaled, which is typically what I was using. So after trying several things I decided to come back over to the church and just recopy my hard drive if you remember originally my my laptop was stolen while I was at the church copying over my hard drive to the new iMac for them right so that we could run the older software to run the personas drivers and everything so now what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to reverse the process and so to do that I'll, I'll show you what to do so you press T no option no nothing and there you go and that's target disk mode right now I'm using right now I'm just you you could I could have used if I would have thought about it I would just just would have brought a Thunderbolt cable but I'm gonna use what I have I have Thunderbolt into Firewire 800 into the iMac. Now, I shut down the iMac. Darn it. By the way, got my coffee. Java tour, Detour, black and white with an extra shot. Should be alright with that. Now, 
I'm thinking about there's several ways to do it. I could try to use the restore in disk utility, but there's all since these are different sized disks, it's gonna tell me. And since this one's smaller, if this one was a bigger disk than that, I could easily use restore and, be, and it'd be a lot faster. But since this is a smaller disk in the MacBook Pro than in the iMac, it's really a hassle to try to get to use the restore mode inside of disk utility. You can use you can use a DD, uh, it's Unix command, and copy the entire di contents of the disk over. It's pretty fast, but that's all that's all command line doing that. And if you don't get it right, you can mess things up. You know, and if you don't put the right kind of buffer, 512 or 1024 or something. Then uh, I remember when I first learned that command line, I was working at HP and uh, we were copying drives because I worked on the HP servers for like Wall Street. Anyway, I was copying drives and one time I forgot to put the, the tag of the buffer size and it literally took two days to copy the drive. And uh, when we were done, we looked at why it took so long. It was op OE, operator error. Uh, yeah, so, you know, if you can get away from that, that's great if you can't then dd will work through through terminal and there's another you can look online there's there's uh, uh some tutorials on how to get to the terminal window but here's the thing it in rescue mode it doesn't have i don't think it has the dd command available in rescue mode right so if you're in rescue mode uh, or restore mode if you're in restore mode you probably won't have the dd command available you'll have to use dd command straight from terminal inside the computer and it should work still even though the drive is mounted uh, but there is an easier solution you can use carbon copy right and you don't have to purchase it uh, it lets you use it once or twice or three times or something like that on a trial basis so if you only have one drive to copy you can just download it and install it and use it for free once and in fact that's what we're doing here Let's see, let me get, oh, what? Okay, later, later. Whoops, carbon, A, R, oi. Carbon copy cloner. And there we go, carbon copy cloner, and then you bring that up, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm bringing it up, and here you go. You got this, right? And we're not gonna check for an update. And we're going to use the trial version and in three two one and there you go now in this one you simply drag your source disk and then then you simply drag your target disk and since i have this in target disk mode this already finds my target disk you can, if it doesn't find your target disk you can always just find it by going to uh let's see go my computer and it should find your target disk but in this case i just put it in here you see and then you just click clone right there clone it takes you know about an hour a couple hours within a couple hours you can do 500 gigs pretty easy that way you can shorten that time if you have if you're using thunderbolt of course it, it's faster than firewire and uh there you go and that's how you back up your entire disk that way now once you've done that you, you can you know because nowadays osx it's really hard to make a, a image of the entire disk you can make a new blank image you can do lots but there's some procedures that you have to go through to make a image of an entire disk and i think the easiest way is to use you know the backup that's in there and then uh, go from there or you can do it this way now if say you want to have just the dish, disk image so what you do is you'd use the same process okay use carbon copy car copy the entire disk over to your external hard drive and then you at that time you can make a disk image of an external drive really easy through the disk utility it'll let you right because it's not the mounted drive 
Okay, so as long as it's not the mounted drive, you'll be able to make it. So you have to, there's workarounds, but you just have to work on it, all right? All right, so that is how you make a copy using carbon copy. I'm getting ready to leave now. So this is what we did today. So far, we were able to go to come set up the computer and get it copied and go to pastor's meeting. And I looked at lawn and uh, there wasn't any work there to do on the lawn except for the leaves. And I'm going to do that Monday, I decided. And so now we're going to go back home and I got to feed the feed tank and that sort of stuff. And, and uh, we'll look, just realized I left my coffee in the church. Got to go back in, disarm the alarm, just to get my coffee. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm back. Got my coffee. Too important to leave behind. And now, if you haven't noticed, this thing's set up a little bit different now. It's not jumping as bad. Seeing a few. Here I got this passport right there. And you, I simply bring it up in hard disk utilities, right? And then you can just highlight it and press restore. Restore. Restore from Mac HD, yes. Restore. And store fail because click to continue. Source is read write and cannot be unmounted. So, you see that? That's because we're trying to copy a disk that's mounted. So, in order to bypass that, you have to go into rescue mode, restore mode, all right? And you do that by hitting uh, option R at boot up. So let's do that. Of course, I could just use carbon copy and that would bypass all that, you know, just by using carbon copy and it's free. But in this one, I wanna to try to use the restore mode just so you guys can see. Restart, restart. And now as soon as we hear the chimes, we wanna press command R. Command, command, R. All right, so we're waiting for the chimes. There's the chimes, I'm hitting command R. And there we go, as soon as we see that, we see that it's in recovery mode. Now it says starting internet recovery mode could take a while. Now we'll just wait a few minutes. It's gonna say choose your network and you have to be able to log into your network. So let me do that real quick. Wireless network, choose your wireless network. Okay, so it's logging in. So you see it's logging in. And it's gonna take a while. So you just gotta be patient. Alternatively, you could boot if you have another bootable disk on your hard drive, on your computer, or if you have an external bootable disk that'll boot into an OS operating system, you could do that as well. Um, but the easiest way actually is using a carbon copy cloner because you have to bypass all this stuff, right? It's just so much faster. But uh, if you don't want to do that, then you do it this way. And it's taken a long time. all my chocolate so Jesus I'm giving my days to you I said I'm using my days to be R2 D2 to the sun. Jesus I give it would be much faster for him you. Jesus I give my life to you
why waste the time? I could come up with some music. You might want to, here, here, this is the one I've been working on. You can tell me what you think. All right. I think it's out of tune. Actually, I'm not going to show you that because I don't want somebody to steal it. Sorry. How about this though? that chord progression you know it's a G in the key of G I think E minor that's an E minor so we A G walk to E minor it's a nice chord progression where uh, oh I was playing this this morning what do you think of this maybe So close to one of the songs I already wrote. Hmm, I've heard something like that. Oh, this finally starting. All right. All right. Uh, can you see it? Okay. So now you just simply. Click on Disk Utility, and it opens up, and you should see your backup drive and your hard drive in there. Highlight the drive there, image, and then drive your, your main drive goes there. Drag this down to destination, like that, and click Restore, right there, and it should work. Let's see, erase. Says it's gonna take five hours. Wow, isn't that crazy? Six hours. Six hours to restore onto a USB drive, but it's working. See, and now it'll copy everything on the on your drive. It's li literally making a, a duplicate of itself, and then you can make an image of it if you want to. Really want? I could probably make an image here because because I'm not mounted on the hard drive you could do that as well but that's how we're going to do it this way because that makes this an exact duplicate drive and then i can add other files if i want to because it's a four terabyte um and that's it all right see you later